pineapple salmon. I'm going to give you a fantastic and an amazing recipe this evening. You could make pineapple chicken, you can make pineapple salmon, you can make pineapple beef. A lot of stuff you can do with pineapple. And I got some leftover pineapple and I just want to share this with you guys to see if you guys could be able to make this one at home. It's going to be beautiful, simple. Um, I'm going to be giving you a, a few recipes, which some of the recipe has requested from some of my audience. But um, please tune in and, you know what I mean, watch the video. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend, all right? So let's get a few of the audience on the live, all right? Before we can, can go any further. Beautiful. So now this video is going to be a little bit long this evening, guys. It's going to be a very long video because of what I'm going to be doing. Um, good morning. Thank you so much. Craig, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. All right, guys, this video is going to be a very long video. It's a step-by-step -step recipe. It's going to be take some time, but trust me, I'm going to get there. All right. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do a few things. All right. Now, sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. All right. That's all I can say. Sit back, enjoy the flight. Um, yeah. So very long video, but we're going to get there. Very, very long. This is not going to be a short video. It's going to be a very long video. This is not going to be a 10 minutes video. It's going to be a very long video, but sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Um, one of the first. All right, so. All right. Jacqueline Murray. Joy, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. Um, Evidence. Jennifer Campbell, better stop yourself. Thank you so much, guys, for Bashi. Thank you so much. You're not going to... Stacy, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, now, all right. Now, I'm going to show you something what you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is do this one. I'm going to make... Um, now, let's come over this one. This one is a little bit bigger. So, we're going to be using this one um, just to show you guys what I've been doing. All right. Now, someone has requested me from me about that sauce. You know, I did the red one. And the red one... A lot of people will say, Chef Ricardo, can you show us to do the red sauce? Now, right here I have some, because I don't have any more of the red fruits, I got some blueberry, okay? So I'm going to be showing you how you can use the blueberry to make it. But how I did my one is very easy, straightforward, and simple. So what you want to do, get your blueberry frozen. Don't put anything on it, all right? Cook on. So once the cooker is on like this, all you're going to do is, some people use brown sugar, but my side, I use organic honey. All right. So roughly about two teaspoons of organic honey inside of it. All right. So that's the way oh, I do my one. It won't be taking too long to cook because this is one of my fast cooker. But I want you guys to see what I'm doing. All right. So. I'm melting off it, all right, right here, as you guys can see, right now. So basically, you can put a lot of stuff inside of it if you want, but I just keep my one very simple, frozen fruits. So I'm using the frozen blueberry, all right? So you can go into your local shop or your supermarket and buy yourself some frozen blueberry, all right? And just chuck some on it and it right the way you see chef ricardo just did a while ago fantastic all right i'm gonna give you a lovely recipe this evening okay so we just want to make the cooker get a little bit to it all right and that looking good yeah. So that as a, this is a frozen blueberry with some honey. 
And as I say, you can get this in your local shop or your supermarket to buy straightforward. I want to make this first to show you exactly how I did the sauce, which you guys are seeing me using all the time. So if you want to make this for your Christmas, Thanksgiving Day, Easter, birthday party, summer, winter, whatever time of the year. This is going to be a uh, beautiful idea for enough of you guys. If you want to learn, and I, I got a lot of recipes. I even make all the... This is sometimes I use a spinach and make the spinach sauce. Beautiful, that one is lovely. All right. Um, Nicole, what's going on with you now? All the way Aruba. Very cool over there at the moment. So as you can see. And this looking good. Alright. Very, very nice. Don't put any water. Leave it naturally. Alright, don't put any liquid yet. Alright, yeah, that's looking good. So what we're going to do, let's dip a little bit of water to it now. Not too much. Just a little bit of water. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, what we're going to do now, just taste it. Because it won't be too long, guys. It's going to be quick. Mm, perfect. A little bit sweet, but it's perfect. All right. So this sauce, you will see exactly what I'm gonna do with this sauce. All right, guys. Lovely. All right. Now, two things. If you wanted to, um, if you're making the sauce and. It's a little bit too runny. You can use, this is some um, corn flour. All right, you can just simply tip a little bit of corn flour and use warm, cold water. Give it a mix like this and put in it like this. All right, give it a mix. that nice lovely red color but the longer you do it is the better for you but i can't keep it too long guys i'm just quickly showing you what you can do at home all right now i'm gonna turn off the, no just just i'm just gonna turn off the cooker for a minute to show you exactly what i'm doing so once you do this then what you're gonna do you're gonna pour it into a blender like this all right pour it into a blender once you pour it into the blender, we're gonna make a little bit of nice few minutes. All right, that's a few minutes. Nice one. So don't blend it too long. Let's quickly give it a blend. All right. So once you blend it, it's gonna be looking like this. Get back your, your pan. Get the strainer. And you're going to run it through it like this. Alright, beautiful. And then. Run it out like this. Guys, this, if, I'm telling you, it's just frozen fruits. Just like if you're making strawberry jam. But the way I'm doing it is different. Let's put a little bit more heat. So this right here, we're not going to use this. We're going to get rid of that bit, all right? Nice one. Mm. 
Lovely. All right, so you don't want it to burn. So this looking good, see? All right, guys, that, look at that. That is amazing. The flavor and the texture is beautiful. All right, so I'll just make it boil up for a few minutes. Then what you want to do is pour it out into another container like this and cool it down. All right, you're going to cool it down. So now you're, you, now you're going to put the cool down. All right. So that is all the way right there. Let's get the salmon. All right, that's the salmon. We're going to show you how to do the pineapple salmon because it's going to take a little bit of time. But let's, let's show you guys, all right? Now, some black pepper. All right. So that's the sauce I just made. And the sauce is very simple, very unique. And trust me, you guys can do that at home. All right, 100%. If you missed the video, just watch the pre-watch. All right, now we're gonna use a little bit of fish season. That is lovely. All right, that's my favorite right there. Now, we're gonna put some paprika. Nice one. Maybe a chili. All right. Then what you want to do, just use a hand and just give this a marinade. Now, if you want to add some garlic and ginger and all these things, yes, it do can happen. But this is salmon. Salmon doesn't need one bag of seasoning. It is a simple little thing. And trust me, it worth it the way I'm doing it. It's just simple, you know what I mean? Just put a little bit of flavor to it. You can put some garlic, ginger, whatever you want to put on it. Lemon, zest, all sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, the season which I just use is a fish season. All right, it's a fish season. Copyright sign, I can show you. So basically, if you're at home and you have your own flavor season where you normally use, you can use it. But, you know what I mean? Whatever season you have at home, you can use it. So, but what you want to do, you want to make sure you cut your fish them chunky. And I'm using the salmon. All right. And as I said, salmon doesn't need a lot of season. Salmon is very easy to cook. Simple. It doesn't need this whole heap of season on it. And whole heap of stuff. All right. Paprika is what's going to give it a nice, lovely color. You put a portion of paprika on it. It's good to go. You don't need a whole heap of stuff to it. All right. Leave it dry. Now, what you're going to do next. All right. Right over here, I have some corn flour. So I'm going to dip them into corn flour like this. All right. Dip them to corn flour. All right. And you don't need to put nothing on the corn flour. So they're going to be like this into the corn flour. All right. So don't go anywhere. Stay right there and let's make this together. I'm going to show you something. All right. Lovely. So we're going to be using a medium sized front pan right here. All right, let's go into the front pan now, guys, because I'm going to show you what's going to show you. I'm going to show you something what you can do at home, even this Christmas. All right? Even this Christmas, you can do this. All right? Now, salmon, as I said, salmon doesn't need a lot of stuff. And salmon doesn't take long to cook. It's simple. All right, we're going to put some olive oil in the front pan. Not too much olive oil, neither. All right? And salmon does not take long to cook. Remember, it's very simple and, you know what I mean, unique. All right? It's the way you do your stuff at home. Um, you can put whatever you like on your salmon. But I'm just simple showing you what you can do. You can marinate your salmon from the day before. A lot of stuff you can do at home. All right? So the front pan is on. On a medium size eat. So I'm going to walk you through it and show you how to make this beautiful, simple, delicious pineapple sauce. All right? So, in the meantime, let's show you something. So, this is the sauce, and the sauce going to cool down. All right. Once it cool down, it's gonna get thick. All right. 
So guys can see, that's the sauce right there. As you can see, it's starting to get thick already. Lovely. All right? That's going to be amazing. And you will see exactly what I'm going to do with the sauce. All right, lovely. All right, now, salmon. All right, let me see. I do not want to use too much oil. I just want to get the salmon just to get that beautiful little color. And then we are good to go. And as I say, you don't need to use this whole heap of season and all these kind of things. Sometimes a lot of people do it, but it doesn't need it. Salmon is so easy to cook. You know what I mean? Pepper and salt. And trust me, you are good to go with salmon. But a lot of people like to like to make sure, you know what I mean, it's fantastic and got a lot of flavor. Alright, now look at this. And it's very, very simple, guys, honestly. And you do not need no whole heap of oil. Yeah, you don't need a whole heap of oil. You have to watch this video to see exactly what Chef Ricotta is going to do. So what you want to do, turn over your salmon, just like this, all right? That is lovely. Very, very simple and unique, all right? So as you can see, you just don't need any too much grease or too much oil. I want to keep it very, very simple. All right, that is excellent. That looking amazing, the flavor. And the texture is so beautiful, guys, honestly. So, right here, this is a beautiful salmon. I just love how the salmon, the salmon looks so far. All right, the way you can do. Just want them to get that beautiful um, look. You know what I mean? Like you see, it's coming on so fantastic and amazing. That looking fantastic, guys. All right. Now, so what we're going to do, just take out the one and wish, you know, ready. All right. Like this one. You saw that look nice. All right, so. And I'm gonna tell you something, the salmon doesn't take long to cook. It's very easy to cook. All right, so as you can see, you put the other piece of a napkin for it to rest. And I'm not overcooking the salmon them. All right, we don't want to overcook it because salmon is easy to cook, guys. You know what I mean? As a quint, it can be cooked. So you don't want to overcook the salmon. Lovely. Okie dokie dokie. All right, so now, 
That's the salmon. I just finished off the salmon. All right. So we're going to make part two now. All right. Let's that stay right there, guys. That looks amazing. And the flavor is fantastic. All right. Now, we got pineapple. All right. We got some pineapple. We're going to be using some purple onion. So we just want to get a nice, lovely flavor from the pineapple. All right. Purple onion. So I make sure I put in the pineapple. Also, we got some spring onion. Got some yellow pepper. All right, that's some yellow pepper. Green pepper. This is some red pepper. What I'm gonna do, all right, I'm gonna put some carrot inside of it, all right. Right, and now we're gonna put uh, some rosemary. You don't have to, it's just option. Well, I got these things, I just use them up when I have things, you know what I mean? We got some fresh thyme. My favorite right here. We're gonna put some cloves. Ferment the seed, guys, just a few. Ferment the seed is amazing to use in the kitchen. Now, I'm just gonna, wow, all right. Just a pinch of cinnamon stick, not too much cinnamon stick. That's gonna give it a lovely flavor to it. Be a leaf. Yeah, that looking good. All right. Fry up everything. Pineapple salmon. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing, guys, isn't it? Yeah, that looking fantastic, guys. Honestly, the flavor <laughs> and the texture is amazing.
Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So we just want to make it get that nice, lovely. It's like it's getting a nice good burn. A little bit of black pepper. We don't use salt. All right, we're not using any salt, not at all, guys. And also, a little bit of my fish season. That's fish season I'm using right there. What we're gonna do, just put a little bit of liquid to it, not too much. All right, little bit of liquid. Wow. Now what we're gonna do, this is one of my favorite, I'm not, I love to use this, guys. <coughs> Proper strong. Um, veg stock. Is the best so that's gonna just bring in all the flavor what you are looking for everything and it doesn't salt it's just a veg stock beautiful so that that's gonna bring in a nice lovely flavor to it all right keep it nicely all right add a little bit more liquid you know All right, that is just water from my kettle. Let's put a little bit of paprika for color. So we're not using any food coloring and all them stuff tonight. We are keeping it real authentic. All right, some people put all food coloring. Food coloring doesn't good for your body. I used to use it back in the days, but now when I'm, when I'm read up on the story of it, them thing that give you cancer which a lot of people doesn't even know all right so you have to read upon stuff guys because i'm telling you there's a lot of stuff i go on in the back end where we don't know so when you do it simple like this i don't put them all the stuff there more natural let's taste the sauce and see where we are at the moment mm. wow that is excellent the flavor and you don't need to put any ketchup or sweet chili sauce in it you want to keep it real all right when you keep it real it's more healthier for you trust me that's a little bit more water i used to do those things back in the days food coloring and all them things but now when i see i start to read about certain things i don't use them anymore i chop them in the bin and get rid of them because they are not good for the health so remember, food coloring can give you cancer. Trust me. No, you don't need any, any ketchup in it. You don't need any sweet chili sauce. Let's use the veg stock. The veg stock, this right here, is very good. And you can, if you don't have this, you can use tomato. A lot of stuff you can use. But the veg stock is handy. All right, then what we're going to do... Here it is. Get that beautiful salmon. Put it in the sauce, guys, like this. I'm showing sure you what you can do at home. And you know what I mean? Very simple. Alright. Yeah. No food coloring. No. The only thing I didn't put in it is some garlic. But you can add some garlic to it. I got fresh garlic. So, you know what I mean? If you guys are using food coloring, I'm going to please don't use it. It's dangerous. <laughs> All right.
might look like that. Nice. All right, this is some beautiful pineapple salmon. Wow. That is excellent, Chef Ricardo. See that, guys? Now, take a good look. All right, that's what's going on right here. That is fantastic and an amazing, guys, honestly. So beautiful. All right. So fantastic and an amazing. And what we're gonna do So we're just gonna finish it off with some ginger on top of it. Just a little bit of ginger. Not too much, because you know the ginger is spicy. So what's gonna happen now, you don't wanna kill out the ginger too much in it. So you just finish it off with a little pinch of ginger on top of it, all right? Lovely and nice. Because, to be honest with you, you do not wanna overcook it. You can have a little bit more sauce. But, you know, as I say, the salmon is very easy to cook. So you don't wanna, you know what I mean, I turn on the cooker a little bit. And also, a little bit of lemon zest. Lovely. Oh yeah, that looks excellent. Look at that, fantastic. All right. Now, if you are holy per person, you can add as much sauce you wanna add to it. But I'm just keeping it simple to show you exactly what I'm doing, all right? So the reason why I'm saying this is how the salmon look, look at that. You do not, you, salmon, you have to be careful with salmon. You don't want to overcook it. Turn off the cooker. All right. All right, that's, that's looking good. Now, we don't want to over um, the salmon. Let's shear it up for you guys. <laughs> this is going to be excellent. All right, now, plate time. All right, we could do a lot more stuff, but... I don't want to keep you guys too long on the show because I'm not going to get bored. I don't want to get too bored. Pineapple salmon. It's two ways you can do the pineapple, guys. Salmon. This. Now, to be honest with you, my sauce didn't cool up the right way, but we still can use it the same way because this is Chef Ricardo cooking. So this is the sauce, all right? It didn't cool the right way I wanted to cool, but I'm simply sure. So sometimes when I say I'm using the sauce, this is what you see I'm doing. All right? So that's the sauce you see I normally do all the time. So this is part one of it right there. All right, fantastic. Get your salmon, all right? and share it up like this and I'm gonna tell you something this is excellent guys all right beautiful and nice just to make you guys can see exactly what I'm going right now under the plate pineapple salmon look at that oh oh yeah that is excellent. All right. I don't want to hold up on the time. That's why I don't go any further with it. But I'm just simply showing you what you can do at home. All right. That is excellent. No. No food coloring, guys. Try and avoid it. All right. Yeah. That is excellent. Now. So if you, if you need more um, tips and more ideas from Chef Ricardo cooking, you know what to do. Just request something and I will definitely make it for you. 
Oh yeah, that is beautiful and nice and delicious and simple, guys. Look at that. All right, so that's the sauce which I'm telling you about, and you can do a lot of things with the sauce. So much things you can do with the sauce. All right, so lots of stuff you can do with it. Decorating a plate, um, you know, yeah. So this Christmas, we have got a lot of ideas to do things at home. All right, very simple and delicious right there from Chef Ricardo. Pineapple salmon with a little bit of twist to it, guys. All right, beautiful, nice, and simple. And if you like to, what you can also do, simple, dash a little bit of chili powder, um, chili, um, chili pine, um, paprika on the plate if you like to. And serve it to your guests. Serve it to your husband or your wife. They will be happy. All right, guys, very simple and delicious. And I'll show you two way, two recipes, how to make the sauce. So once you cool down the sauce, it will get right to the temperature and tick. And it's very easy to run on the plate and do whatever you want to do with it. Pre-watch the video. Can I use pineapple in the can? Yes, you can use pineapple in the can, but a fresh one much more healthy and better, you know? Yeah, the fresh one is a little bit more healthier. And also, if you want to use... The skull of the pineapple, you can use the skull of the pineapple. I have the skull of the pineapple, which I can also use and plate it up. But to I did the sauce, I want to show you guys how I did the sauce, all right? But if you like the recipe, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend, tell a friend. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas to come for you. Now, with this pineapple, guys, I'm going to show you something what I did earlier. Okay, now earlier... I cook this thing. All right, this is not rice. All right, guys. This is not rice. This is bulgur. Right here, bulgur with seeds, with corn, with vegetables inside of it. All right, this is amazing. I know you guys don't know what is this, but this is bulgur. You can get it in the local shop or your supermarket for buy. Okay, let's turn off this now. I'll show you. It's bulgur and wheat. Here it is. Bulgur and corn on it. Mix. All right, guys. Very beautiful to cook with. Nice and lovely. All right. So this can go with the... If, if you're a person who eat rice, you, you can have it. But I don't eat rice. I eat mostly like these things. Bulgur, wheat, and corn and all them stuff there. So this is it right here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Let me just shout out a few of you guys and say thank. Big up my TikTok and my Facebook audience. I appreciate you guys, love. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. We've got a lot more recipes to come in and a lot more ideas. All right. So basically, Azizim, <coughs> thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Um, Michael Salmon. Yeah. Kiwi is a very good recipe, guys. Susan, thank you so much. Bill Cullum, thank you so much. Gregor, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming on the show. Hara Mars. Um, uh, which one of them you want me to spell out? Um, what do you want me to spell out? Um, Sharon, what's going on with you now? <laughs> All right, the quinoa and wix is, um, here it is. Quinoa and wix and the bulgur. All right, bulgur, B-U-L-G-U-R. And the wheat is W-H-E-T-A. All right. And we got Q U I N O A and the mix. Q and the mix, all right? Q and mix. So, take a picture of it. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm advertising. <laughs> all right. So, but you can get this in the this, in this local shop or the supermarket. Very, very good, guys. Because if you're a person who are trying to avoid rice, these are things you need to eat. All right. It's so important to eat these things, guys. It makes it different. I can't wait to see it on a plate. Um, 
Okay, let's let's put it on the plate and show you what I'm talking about. All right. Here it is. Let's put it on a plate. So this is. All right, this is the red sauce which I made yesterday, guys. All right, the other day when I made the red sauce. So normally when I'm doing it, this is what I do. All right. So that's the red sauce. Very nice red sauce, this one. All right, it's, so basically, how I make this one is I use, um, what do you call it? Mix fruits to make that one. All right, so mixed fruits. Let's do this one quickly for you guys because time is running and I don't want you guys to get bored. And, uh, so here it is. All right. Now, this is amazing, guys. All right, the way I cook this, if you want me to show you how I cook it, I can show you, but it's in another video I have to do this one. All right. Yeah, here it is. And that's the way it look. Oh yeah, that is excellent. All right, beautiful and nice. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Not only that, but plate is a little bit messy. You know what I mean, but yeah, that's kind of, all right, here it is. That is the way it look right there, guys. That, trust me, if you're a person who are avoiding rice, these are things you need to eat. And five and all these things in it. It's amazing. All right? But as I said, you can get in a local shop. And you can get in a local shop or the supermarket to buy. All right? But anyway, guys, as I said, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to close the show. Have you guys have a beautiful evening. If you need any more recipes and ideas, Thank you so much, Craig. Thank you so much. And you know, I mean, the sauce just it's just those things I normally do, what you guys can do with it. So that's just because of the sauce why I did it this evening. Because someone requested the sauce from me, and I say, okay, I'll show you guys how to do it. Can you type in their fish? Uh, what type of what type of fish? Is the sea um salmon I'm using? This is boneless salmon. I'm using. All right. But guys, thank you so much, man, for this evening. I really appreciate it. If you guys want me to make something special, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend, all right? And I will be seeing you with more recipes and more ideas. Have a beautiful evening. Bye-bye for now.